Hey Harry Potter fans, Peter Kenneth here. Welcome back to the Potter Collector channel where we are a community of collectors. Today we are looking at Hogwarts house themed goblets that you can actually drink out of too. And I have on my goblet of fire shirt cause you know, we're looking at goblets and goblet of fire. I thought it was fitting, but these goblets are made by Inesco. You can collect all four houses or just your Hogwarts house or they have a Hogwarts themed goblet so you can have all four houses on one goblet. Now I've seen the Slytherin version of these goblets and let me tell you, they are detailed. All right, I think it's only fitting that we start with the Hogwarts Crest Goblet. One, two, three, Goblet Revealio. Magic, just like that, magic. Here is the Hogwarts Crest Goblet. Now the crest is on all four sides of this goblet here. And that really wasn't necessary. They could have had the crest on one side, but they've given it to us on all four sides. The background color is like a light gray, which is great because it makes the goblet background disappear and the crest pop, as well as the gemstones. There are gemstones on this goblet. You can find them on the top in between each of the crests, as well as on the stem of the goblet and the foot of the goblet. It does feel like it's this ancient artifact that I've uncovered from when Hogwarts was first created and built, and like magical things will happen if I drink out of it. As you're seeing, the rim of the goblet as well as the inside is stainless steel, which allows you to drink from it. Now this would not be dishwasher safe, so don't throw this in the dishwasher, but I am gonna fill it up with some water, aguamenti. All right, let's take a sip and see what it's like to drink from one of these goblets. I feel very magical. I'm drinking like from the cup of knowledge or something. I definitely feel like I'm a stronger Potter collector. That is fun, oh my goodness, to drink out of one of these things. And if you had all five and had five people at like a dinner party, these would have to go out on the table. The bottom is black with some copyright information. Now this is not felt lined. There's the potential that it'll scratch a surface. So just be careful when you're placing it on a surface. But here is the inside of that stainless steel cup. And I'm guessing that all five of these together are going to look fantastic. Again, you don't have to drink out of them. They make perfect display pieces. So let's take a look at the different house goblets. So we have Gryffindor, Hufflepuff, Ravenclaw, and Slytherin. Each one features the different house cup and each one features the house gemstone as well. Let's take a look at the box here. So we have that white wizarding world theme that we know from Harry Potter merchandise. On this one, it says Gryffindor decorative goblet, features the goblet itself. What I love about this, you guys know gold foiling, the Niffler inside me freaks out with gold foiling. Harry Potter on the top and all four sides is gold foiled. Did they really have to gold foil the packaging? Absolutely not. Did it improve the overall quality of the piece? Absolutely. So all of the goblet packaging features that gold foiling as well as a picture of the goblet that is inside. Revilio, Expelliarmus, Bombada Maxima, Avada Kedavra. All right, we have all of the house goblets right here. Let's take a look at them in house order. So we have Gryffindor, okay, the red rubies really make me feel medieval. This is what Godric Gryffindor drank out of, and we discovered it in the depths of Hogwarts, hidden away in a wall, and it's in perfect condition, just like how he left it. We have all four sides featuring the Gryffindor crest. Once again, totally unnecessary, but Inesco went ahead and just did all four sides. And then we have rubies on the stem and rubies on the base, as well as rubies up on top. Here's the bottom, which says Gryffindor, the stainless steel cup on the inside. Really nicely painted. It looks aged. It looks worn a little bit. And nice design work on the base of the goblet, too. It just adds to the overall feel and just look of this piece. Huffle Puff, we have yellow gemstones. What is the Hufflepuff gemstone? Is it like a yellow diamond? Is it a yellow sapphire, citrine? Like, I don't know, what is the gemstone of Hufflepuff? I should know this, but I don't. So leave a comment down below and let me know. But here is the Hufflepuff goblet with 
Again, all four sides features the Hufflepuff crest, beautifully painted, beautifully sculpted. Inesco does an incredible job with sculpting. I mean, you guys have seen the figurines that they put out. Holy cow, like the sculpt work is incredible on those. If you've not seen them, definitely check them out here on the Potter Collector channel. We've unboxed and looked at each one of them. Inesco is also the parent company for Department 56, which makes that Harry Potter Village set. You know their stuff is going to be good, and these goblets are no different. I really like this one. I love how the yellow gemstones pop out of that gray background. This feels very much like a king's goblet, even more so than this. This feels more medieval. This feels like a king's goblet or a queen's goblet. Really, really nice. And then the base says Hufflepuff. All right, you eagles, or in this case, ravens. So sorry, but there is a raven featured on the Hogwarts crest. And the gemstones on this goblet are very rich, very royal looking. The overall look and feel of this is beautiful. I love the blues, especially over that gray background. The one thing is that raven in the center. I think we'll be asking ourselves forever why Warner Brothers changed the eagle to a raven for the movies. If you don't know, the true animal mascot for Ravenclaw is an eagle. And the true colors of Ravenclaw House are blue and bronze. But all of that said, this is still a stunning goblet and I love the blue gemstones on this one. Here is the base, which says Ravenclaw. And actually, the T is missing. That's funny. The T is missing on in Potter. All of the other ones have a T, but this is Potter. Harry Potter. Good luck, Harry Potter. And last but not least is... Slytherin. Now Slytherin really gives me like a dungeon or cave feel. The green of the crest on this goblet really blends in to the background color of the goblet. And what pops are the gemstones. So it feels like you're in a cave, you're in a dungeon, you're in the Chamber of Secrets. I love how this goblet feels kind of mysterious. Like you have to look at it closely to see what it is, but if you get too close, the snake's gonna strike you. So it's like a creepy Slytherin kind of a feel, and I think it works really, really well. Bright green gemstones all around the goblet, and then all four sides feature the Slytherin crest. Here's that stainless steel cup and the bottom where it says Slytherin. Here are the five goblets united together. Now, when it comes to the base of these cups, seeing all of them together, I'm noticing that the base of Slytherin and Hufflepuff match. So check out those bases there. Here are the other three and these three bases match each other. So I'm not sure why Inesco had three match and then two match. But then when you look at the stems of Hufflepuff and Gryffindor, they have like a striped pattern. And then Ravenclaw and Slytherin have a diamond pattern. And then Hogwarts almost has pillars, which makes up the stem of this goblet. So interesting observation, but I'm not sure why they made those design choices. All right, let's see, which one's my favorite? I think it's a tie between Hufflepuff and Slytherin. I really love the yellow gemstones and how they pop out of that gray background. And I really love the Slytherin goblet and how everything kind of blends into each other, making it feel very mysterious. And then also the paintwork on the Hufflepuff crest, it feels very aged and very old. So those are probably my two favorites. I mean, they're all great, but these are the two favorites for sure. What about you guys? What do you think about the goblets? Do you own any of these goblets? Is this something that you would want to collect? Leave a comment down below. Let me know which ones were your favorites. Let me know if you didn't like any of them. I would like to know, so leave a comment down below. Also, let me know how you would use these. And if you have them in your collection, how do you use them? Do you display them? Do you actually use and drink out of them? Do you just pull them out for parties? Help a fellow Potter collector out here because I feel like I need to use these for some sort of like dinner party or something. If you would like to purchase one or all of these goblets, check the description down below. You will find links to each one. If you have any questions about Harry Potter or collecting, feel free to leave a comment down below. You can also join the Potter Collector community on Instagram at the Potter Collector or on Twitter at Potter Collector. Now it's time to like, comment, subscribe, and until next time, keep collecting. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, welcome. You can subscribe right up here. You can also look at some previously posted content down here. If you have any questions about Harry Potter books or collecting, please feel free to contact me. I'm always happy to help. But for now, I must go. See you next time. Whoa, where'd he go?